McCaffrey and the 49ers won the toss. They will defer. So the ball will belong to the Cardinals first as we welcome you to the Bay Area alongside Mark Sanchez with more open on the field. I'm Kevin Kugler, Josh Dobbs, and the Arizona offense. Fresh off that win last week over Dallas. We'll have the football to start things off. Greg Dorch will watch that one sail through the end zone for the touchback last week for Arizona and really has worked well in their first three games. They've been in every single game as Dobbs will go to the air on first down and connects with Marquise Brown. There was some question during the week as whether Josh Dobbs would have Hollywood Brown to throw to battling a thumb injury. He's out there and he catches the first pass of the day. You see the numbers last week against Dallas. Very efficient for Josh Dobbs. Efficiency is key. They've got to withstand this surge that this crowd's going to give him here in the Bay Area. But most importantly for Josh Dobbs, he understands the formula. I mean, isn't he like a rocket scientist or something? He is indeed. He's so smart and he's so calculated. He knows this team has a small margin for error. They've got to eliminate turnovers and mistakes. Stakes. That's why he hasn't thrown any interceptions. You saw Hollywood Brown on the sidelines already being looked at by the athletic training staff as Drake Greenlaw makes the tackle on the first run of the day for James Conner. This Arizona offense has started fast this year. They've done it on the ground behind an offensive line with D.J. Humphreys and the rookie Paris Johnson anchoring those two outside tackle spot and the backs and receivers. It's hard not to like what James Conner has done if you're a Cardinal fan. He has been very, very good on the ground. Fourth in the league in rushing yards through three games. Well, they went to Pitt. Pitt Panther played for the Steelers. He's got that Steel City mentality. That's why I call him Concrete Connor. Look for him. He's always available. They have an opportunity here on this third and short because they are efficient on first and second down. Third down and two. Niners rush four to the air. The pass is incomplete. He was looking for Zach Ertz who wanted a flag. He thought he was being held by Dre Greenlaw, but no flag on the field, and it's fourth down. Well, here comes Zach Ertz. Watch him right here. He's going to run a little option route on the right side of the screen, and he gets behind Greenlaw. It felt like he got yanked a little bit. Greenlaw might have got away with one, and Zach Ertz trying to win an Emmy nomination or an Oscar or something like that. He, t he tried to sell that, throw his arms up in the sky like he got pulled around. The refs weren't going for it. The 49ers, there's a flag down, a little movement up front. It's going to cost Arizona five yards. 49ers with one of the best defenses in the entire National Football League up to the challenge on that opening drive for Arizona. False start. Offense number 44. Five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. And Blakeman, our referee today, and the Cardinals march back five. This put 13-34. Game clock. To punt it away, Ray Ray McLeod, the third, the deep man for San Francisco. McLeod at the 23, did not call fair catch. He's got some room on the outside to run, and McLeod out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Chased out by Trey McBride, a 49-yard punt and a 15-yard return. And here comes Brock Purdy. And the San Francisco offense with excellent field position. But before that first snap to Brock Purdy, we welcome in the third member of our crew down on the field. Say hi to Laura Oakman. Hi, Laura. Hi, Kevin. Kyle Shanahan watched the Cardinals and said, this team believes. This team is confident. This team didn't get the memo it's supposed to be tanking. And that their win over Dallas, quote, woke our guys up. Kaiser White agreed, saying that game did a lot for his Cardinals, but not too much. Saying guys came back in and were locked in, saying no one's looking back. We're looking forward to San Francisco and setting them as well. Good start for San Francisco with the run of six for Christian McCaffrey and Brock Purdy. Everybody keeps waiting, Mark, for Brock <laughs> Purdy to turn into the seventh round pick, but all he does is win through for 310 yards last Thursday against the Giants. I mean, he, he's so steady and so efficient. He knows how to take care of the football. He knows when it's time to take a shot and he's got such great personnel around him. He recognized that. He's the ultimate point guard. Look, he's got Debo Samuel right next to him to his right. There goes McCaffrey in motion. I mean, they're everywhere, Kevin. Samuel trying to sweep to the edge, and Debo Samuel close to the first down as he skips out of bounds, maybe about a half a football short as Keetrell Clark closed out the edge. San Francisco fourth in total yards, third in points this year, an offensive line that's 
anchored by Trent Williams at left tackle, the veteran who's done just a tremendous job, the 10-time Pro Bowler, and good to see Brandon Ayuk back in there. Missed last week with a shoulder injury, but Ayuk, who was the offensive player of the week in the NFC in week one, back and ready to go today. On third down and one, it's McCaffrey with a carry. First down in the Cardinals territory, and don't think Christian McCaffrey can't level a little punishment at the end of a run. Ezekiel Turner can vouch for that. Well, watch this surge by the offensive line all running downhill and there goes McCaffrey he knows how to run downhill he understands when it's third and short he delivered an absolute punishing blow <laughs> Ezekiel Turner he felt that yeah I think I felt that first and ten at the 40 not to the same level as Ezekiel Turner though 18, Samuel in motion on first down off the play action Purdy steps into the clean pocket, throws wide of his fullback Kyle Juszczyk. There's a flag down on the near side at the 40. It's going to be a hold against Arizona. Prior to the pass, holding defense number seven. Five yards penalty, automatic first down. That's Kaiser White who led the Cardinals with 14 tackles a week ago, called for the hold. Well, there's Juszczyk. You're going to see... Him get caught up with Kaiser White right here, and Kaiser White just hangs on. See that jersey? He's hanging on to him way too long inside. Use check. Okay, hold on. You said fullback. That was a corner route to the fullback. <laughs> Wait, remember what I said about the cupboard being full? Yeah, it's very full. That's what I'm talking about. Debo's a running back. No, he's a wide receiver. McCaffrey, he can throw it, he can run it, he can catch it. It's everybody. Play action, Purdy over the middle. There's Brandon Ayuk. First catch since his return from injury, all the way down to the 26-yard line. A pickup of 16 and, and a San Francisco first down. Well, watch this right in between defenders. I absolutely love it. And watch this. Ayuk's gonna come inside here. Boom! Rip in through the screen. Watch right on that arrow, and there's the wide window. And what sells it is the fake, right? The fake, the low pad level from the offensive lineman. And there goes Ayuk ripping through the middle, finding the window, and Brock Purdy leading him in stride. From the 26 on first down, Purdy lost to the right, throws over the middle, finds McCaffrey, dodging amongst traffic, and McCaffrey on the run for a first down. Excellent control by Brock Purdy, and then McCaffrey did the rest, picks up 12, and he moves the chains. Watch McCaffrey the entire way. <laughs> He's just the outlet. He realizes it's man-to-man. -man, and once <laughs> once Brock Purdy gets out and Kaiser White loses his man, right? We said it's like airport luggage. You got to keep your eye on your luggage. Kaiser White sees the ball. And Brock Purdy, he goes to make a play. Boom, it's a little give and go. I mean, this is, you know, Stockton to Malone. This is Jason Kidd. You know, that's what Brock Purdy is. He's the ultimate point guard. Arizona has not allowed an opening drive score this year. San Francisco trying to change that with McCaffrey on the edge. Yanked out of bounds with a flag down, a face mask by Ezekiel Turner. It's first and goal coming up for San Francisco. Oof. c -Mac with the choice route out of the backfield. No surprise here. Personal foul, grabbing the face mask. Defense, number 47. Penny's half the distance to the goal line. First down in San Francisco. You see Brock Purdy ready to throw that ball before McCaffrey even fully turns around. He had so much space out on the edge. And then you see Ezekiel Turner with the face mask right there. Ooh. Got a handful of it. And there, and there, and there. <laughs> First and goal. McCaffrey met by Lopez and stood up at the one. San Francisco had 17 points this year on opening drive. That's the most in the NFL through three weeks against a defense that hasn't allowed a point on an opening drive. Advantage offense so far, second and goal. Well, I think what the Cardinals have really done is trying to stay back and just give everybody space, keep the top, the lid on, if you will, for uh, of the defense, and make everybody go down the field methodically. Well, that's what Brock Purdy does. That's exactly 